Okay, let's talk about significant figures. What we find is that all measurements are going to be approximations because there's no device that can give us a perfect measurement. Mm -hmm. There will always be some type of experimental uncertainty in my measurement. So the number of significant figures is simply the number of figures that are known with some degree of certainty. If I have a number 13.2, I'm telling you that three numbers are significant. The 1, the 3, and the 2 are significant. If I write 13.20, I'm telling you that I have four significant figures because now the 1, the 3, the 2, and the 0 are significant. Now let's talk about the rules of determining significant figures. If it is a non-zero digit, then it is significant. So the number 1.234 has four significant figures because all the digits are non-zero and they are significant. Zeros between non-zero digits are significant. So the number 1004, those zeros are significant because they fall between the 1 and the 4, which are non-zero digits. So I have four significant figures in this number. But now if I have leading zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. These numbers are merely indication of the position of the decimal point. Okay, so leading zeros before non-zero digit. So the leading zeros, the zero, so I have 0, 0.0000, these are, then the digits 1 and 2. The, those zeros are not significant. So I only have two significant figures here, which is the 1 and the 2, because all the zeros preceding it are merely placeholders. And the other one is saying, trailing zeros that are also to the right of a decimal point in a number are significant. So now I have the number 0 0.120. The zero in the front, the leading zero, is not significant. But the trailing zero now is significant. So now 1, 2, and 0 are significant. And I have three significant figures. And finally, the fifth rule. When the number ends in zero, right, that are not to the right of a decimal point, the zeros are not necessarily significant. We're not quite sure whether or not it's significant or not, or whether it's just a placeholder. So the number one, two, zero, the question is, is that zero significant or not? So we either have three significant figures, meaning the one, the two, and the zero are significant, or we have two significant figures, one and a two, and the zero is a placeholder. So to avoid this, we write, up, we write numbers in scientific notation, and we're assured how many numbers are significant. So the one, two, zero and significant figures be 1.20 times 10 to the second. This, it would indicate that I have three significant figures because of the previous rule that says the zero following of the trailing zero is significant. So the one, the two, and the zero are significant in this number the way it is written in scientific notation. So now the question is what happens? What is the rules for now for mathematical operations? For adding and subtracting? I want to round off my final answer. Okay, the final answer needs to be rounded off so that I have the same number of digits after the decimal place as the least significant number. Okay, so adding and subtracting, I'm looking at the numbers that follow the decimal place. 
So in this case, I have 150, which is three significant figures, but no, no numbers, after, no decimal points. Then I have 23.643, which has three numbers after the decimal point. If I add these together, the calculator will give me 173.643. Then I go back to figure out how significant this number should be. It has to follow the rules of the 150, which has no significant, which has no digits following the decimal place. So my answer should be 174, which gives me three significant figures and no numbers after the decimal point. Again, I'm rounding off so that it has the same number of digits as the measurement having the fewest decimal places. Now, when I do multiplication and division, it's a little different. Multiplication and division, I'm looking at the number of significant figures. My answer should have the same number of significant figures as the least significant number. Okay, so I should have the same number of significant figures as the measurement with the least number of significant figures. So I have 3.0, which has two significant figures. I have 12.60, which has four significant figures. If I multiply these two numbers together, the calculator gives me 37.8 zero, 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 which is a number which has six significant figures. But according to the rule, my answer needs to be in a form as the least significant number, which is two significant figures. So my answer should be 38, which gives me two significant figures. Again, my number has to be, cannot be more significant than the least significant number. So I have to have two significant figures in my answer. Let's review the rules for rounding off numbers. You look at the number which you will retain, and you look at the digit following it. The digit following it is 5 or greater. You round up. So you're looking at the number that you will keep. You look at the number following it. The number following it is greater than 5. Then you will increase that retaining digit by 1. So the number 12.6, by I want want to write that with in two significant figures. I look at the two. The number that follows the two is greater than five, which is six, which means I then would round up the two to three, giving me an answer of 13, which would be in two significant figures. Now, if the digit to be dropped is less than 5, then that last remaining digit is left as it is. So 1, 2.4, the 2 will be kept. I look at the 4, the 4 is going to be less than 5, so I leave the 2 as it is, and my answer will be written in two significant figures of 1, 2, or 12, which gives me two significant figures. So greater than 5, I round up. Less than 5, I round down. I mean, I leave it as it is. If the digit is 5, and the number following it is not 0, the last remaining digit is increased by 1. So the number 12.51 is rounded to 13. Looking at the 2, I go to the 5, and then I round up to the 3. So my answer is going to be 13. 
Again, writing these in two significant figures. If it's greater than 5, I round up. If it's less than 5, I leave the digit as it remains. If it's equal to 5 and the number following the 5 is not 0, then I round up. This concludes our lesson on significant figures.